Hey, hey dares. I'm back. Third day in a row for a video. It's a small miracle, right? I still have the old phone. The new one is still sitting on the kitchen table. So that update will probably happen tonight and I will change to my new phone. So tomorrow's video may be entertaining. So tune in for more excitement and laugh at Deb tomorrow as she figures out her new phone. But we are still on Heyday Derby. And as you can tell, I have taken another task. I am on, yes, I am on another milk task. Oh my, so much milk. But it's worth 313 points, which is a good amount in the Derby. So I went ahead and went for it. I have so much milk right now. Um, anyway, 30 out of 84. And my cows uh, just became available to collect from again. So I'll do that here in just a second. Since I'm doing a milk task, I thought I'd chat about animals a little bit and kind of what I do with my animals. So... I try really hard to have enough feed in my barn to feed all of my animals one time. So I have 18 chickens, I have 15 cows, 15 pigs, 10 sheep, and 12 goats. And so that adds up to 70, 70 animals. And so that's a decent amount of feed. You may need to expand your barn for it because you may not have enough room initially to do it. That's totally fine. But I like to do that, and the reason is, is because if you have a task that comes up, or if you really, really need a bunch of bacon for some reason, you can collect, feed them immediately, and then they are um, working on toward, to be ready for you to collect them again. If you don't have the feed ready, you collect from them, but then they just sit there because you haven't fed them, and so they're not getting ready to be able to produce product for you anymore. So it's a wise idea to have enough. It's also a really good idea uh, when you're getting ready to go into a derby, which again, we'll talk about Monday, but when you get ready to go into a derby to be ready, because if you have a milk task like I do, you wanna make sure you have enough cow feed so that once you collect the milk, you can feed the cows and you can keep going. So we're actually gonna do that right now. Um, you also notice right now that every animal is ready to collect. I do that intentionally. I want to have them ready to go. So if I need them, they are ready. Um, so it's not one of those, oh yikes, I need bacon, but all of the pigs haven't been fed. So it's gonna be another four hours until I'm able to collect that bacon. I wanna be ready to go. Just wanna basically know, you know what? I have 15 bacon sitting right there that I can collect anytime I want. And it is not taking up room in my barn. Ding, ding, ding. If you're low on barn space, this could be a way to help you with that product situation where I need eggs, but I don't have enough room. Well, leave your chickens sitting like this. They're ready to collect, and there's 18 eggs right there for you. So, just a thought. I'm going to collect my milk for this task. And I have to get my dairy going to try to use up all this milk because I have a ton of milk. And here we go. And you're actually going to see me back out of the game for just a second because I'm going to set my timer for an hour, so I'm ready to go. Where's my timer? Here it is. Let's give it to an hour. Set your timer when you're doing tasks, especially if they're quick turnaround tasks. So like, say you got a soybean task or a carrot task, those are quick. Um, and if you collect them every 10 to 20 minutes, like you're supposed to, they go really quick. Otherwise, Otherwise, you're wasting time. So if you don't check your carrots except every 30 minutes, you just lost out on two harvests that you could have gotten. So set a timer, um, set it on your computer or on your cell phone. So we're good to go. And let us look. Yeah, let me show you how much milk I have. I have 81 milk, and I still have almost 40 more that I need to collect. Anybody need milk out there? So here is my farm. I meant to show it to you before, and I totally forgot to click on this Kelly Valley farm. I don't look in here very often because I like to be surprised when I level up to know what I'm getting. And if I keep looking over and over again, I'm just like, oh, I really want those two fields, but I still have so much farther to go. I, I like the surprise, but anyway, there I am, Kelly Valley farm, level 80. Okay, so another useful friend for those of you um, who are doing feed tasks or if you're going to do a lot of animal feed tasks all in a row like maybe you're just in a feed task mood or if you need to get a lot of animal products because um, you need to make something or if you're trying to make products that require a lot so like you're going to make a lot of sweaters or something you need a lot of wool Rose, Rose is our buddy so Rose and Ernest, they're this lovely couple that sit up here and hang out 
Rose is your farm animal helper. Ernest, her husband, is your sugar and dairy helper. I don't use Ernest very often. I'm on top of stuff enough. I keep my dairy and my sugar going okay. But Rose, oh, she is awesome, especially when you're doing animal feed tasks. So she is an NPC who can help you by making animal feed. You can, she can feed your animals, sorry, too bright. She can feed your animals um, and she can collect goods. You can tell her what to do. So, warning, this is your warning, you've been warned. If you are doing an animal feed task and Rose feeds the animals, it does not count. You have to feed your animal, don't be lazy. But she can be very helpful because she can make the feed that you need to feed the animals and that's what I use her for. Because um, if I go through and I collect from all my animals, feed all my animals, now I'm completely out of feed, but my feed things are not maxed out yet. I have six slots in that one and I have six slots in this one. And actually I have enough diamonds, I could level that up. I could add an extra slot on each. I think I'm gonna do that. I have over 200 diamonds and an extra feed slot would be really helpful um, for tasks. So yeah, you, let's, let's actually do that, let's do this. So we're gonna level up or we're gonna add a slot, I guess, to that one. Boom, now I got seven slots. And let's do the same thing for this one. Cool. All right, now I have more slots. That's awesome. That'll help Rose and that'll help me. Um, yeah, so anyway, Rose is really helpful. Um, just make sure, because when you select her, make sure you select exactly what you want her to do. If you only want her to make feed, that's fine. If you want her to make feed and feed your animals, totally cool. Just realize she won't help you with tasks. So, otherwise, what else can we do with our little selves? Oh, we need to uh, get some stuff in the dairy, don't we? Because we have a ton of milk. Dairy is totally empty. All right, let's see what we got. Currently, I have eight cream. I have nine butter. I have 11 cheese. <laughs> and I have seven feta. Okay, so I need a little more cream. Actually, let's just get the cream and the butter up to the level of the cheese, shall we? So we need three cream, two butter. Yep, and we got plenty of regular cheese. So three cream. All right. I can make more cheese. I don't think I'm going to right now, just for barn space purposes, because 11 cheese, that's a good amount of cheese. All right, let's collect carrot juice, collect that. Right. So, let's go over to the task area for my neighborhood and see what the tasks are doing right now. So, task-wise, what do we got? So, ooh, there's a helper task, 320, that's nice. That's nice. That's I love doing helper tasks. They usually don't take me too long to ask in my neighborhood, and most people have trees and bushes for me to do. But even not, now that you can um, help out boats, you can help out truck orders, and you can help out with trees and bushes. So it usually doesn't take that long for me to do it, so that's nice. Uh, another mining task. I don't have enough... Um, well, I don't have enough tools to do it. And second, I already have quite a bit of ore in my barn from the last time I did it, so I won't worry about that. Fishing task, maybe. 305, eh. And then the egg task is a 303. Not bad, um, but I'll be on this task for at least another, what, three, four hours? So, right. we are ninth. That's gonna change. Um, a lot of people are gonna start getting tasks in here in the next few days, it always does. And those are my bonuses so far. Not too bad. We'll get some better ones as we go up higher though. Alrighty. These are my boosters. I don't think I've shown these to you yet. As you can tell, I like Rose, because there's two of her right there. I also love Tom. Uh, Tom is my buddy. He helps me out with some of the, the complicated stuff or the stuff that right now I'm not making a lot of. Um, Bright Bouquet is one that I'm not making a lot of right now because it requires iron ore to make it. And right now I'm using all my iron ore to make the iron bars to level up my train in my town. So he runs and he gets bright bouquets for me quite frequently. Um, some other ones I will use him to get jewelry. That's another one that's pretty useful because I'm using my bars for the train. So he makes jewelry for me. Uh, he picks up jewelry for me. He doesn't make it, but he buys it for me. So otherwise, you can tell my fields are full. Ooh, cucumbers are ready. Um, you notice probably, hey, your fields are always full. Yes, that is also intentional. Um, I'm always going, I'm always growing things because that's one of your best ways to make money. So grow the things and then either make product out of it. If you know that you can sell it pretty quickly. So carrots, I generally 
uh, make a lot of carrot juice. You probably just saw me collect the three bottles of the carrot juice. It's an easy one. It's quick. It only takes 10 minutes to grow carrots and it takes 25 minutes to do a carrot juice. So it's an easy one. Um, you can get two and grow the carrots in an hour. So that's a quick one and then I just sell it and I can make, you know, it's not a lot of money, but if you do it over and over again, it adds up. So for instance, now, um, I don't have any extra carrot juice because one of my townies just asked for five bottles of it, so. What do they do with five bottles of carrot juice? Are they on a diet? Maybe they're doing like a vegan thing and they need some carrot juice. I don't know. Some of these orders just throw me off in the town. Free entertainment. Maybe someone needs to start writing stories about what the townies are doing with the stuff they ask us for. I'm just glancing through to make sure everybody's good to go. I believe they are. I just checked here not that long ago, but I'm checking again. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. If I get another town task, I'm ready to go for that, which is good. Nobody left me anything. Cool. Diner. Oh, I leveled up my diner. I think the last time you saw it was only 25% on the clock. Now it's 30%. So I did level it up. So I need to start collecting stuff again, but that's okay. All right. Back to... All right. What else? What does I need here? Oh, I need another raspberry jam. That's fine. Jams take forever. I hardly ever sell jams. I will give them to my neighborhood friends if they need it because we're part of a neighborhood and we're one big happy family, but I do not sell jam because it takes so long to produce. For example, raspberries take 18 hours to grow and then they take an additional six hours to make them. That's a whole day to make one thing of jam. If you think about it, when you count the raspberries growing. So I do not sell them, I, I keep them. I give them to the townies or I, I do them if I got a boat order, but I do not sell them. All right, so over here, let's get some more lures in the bench. I think you collect, ooh, duck. I also always keep uh, lobster traps and I keep duck traps going. Um, unless I'm doing a fishing task and I need them to collect fish. And the reason is is because you will always need more lobster tails, you will always need more duck feathers, and if you do not need them, your hoodies will. So you might as well just keep going and collecting. And if you get a ton, give them to your hoodies. They will love you forever. Um, or if you really want to sell them, you will make a fortune. I mean, those things go about as quick as you can snap your fingers. So a um, great idea. And then you're ready to go if you need a blanket or a pillow or something like that. So, I'm going to look. I think we need. I think I need more mayonnaise. Do I need more mayonnaise? I should put this in a different way. I always need more mayonnaise, so I'm going to make more mayonnaise. There's olive oil. That's another one you can never really have too much of. So, all right. I'm at 13 minutes. What do you think? What else should we do? Oh, so what do you guys like to do with your animals? Do you like to keep them um, well fed, or do you not really worry about it and you just feed them when you need them? thing is the sheep look so sad if you don't feed them I can't handle it I have to feed them because look here I'll do this group look at that look how sad they look they're shivering it's miserable I can't leave them like that they're way too sad no sad sheep so I feed my sheep there you go now put more sheep feed in so we're good to go there we go all right that's all I got for now no sad sheep keep your barn stocked have fun in the derby see you next time